Good morning, guys. How's it going? All right. So I recently got this like devotion book that is called Three Minute Devotions for Women. Yes, there we go. Um, and it's really awesome because obviously I've got four kids and every once in a while a lot more. Um, so I've been using this as much as I can because it's really quick. It's really short, sweet, to the point. I don't need to be, you know, sitting in a book for 30, 40 minutes. Um, so it's really cool. And I wanted to be able to share. Hey, Angela. Um, I wanted to be able to share what my devotion was this morning with you guys because it really kind of struck me because for me, I'm really bad at people pleasing. I feel like everybody in the world needs to come first. Everybody needs to feel good about themselves and I need to be the one to do that for them. So <laughs> um, I know there's a lot of people like that. So I thought I would share this with you guys. Um, so it says, when we allow ourselves to be real before God, it doesn't matter what others think. If God has accepted us, then who cares about what someone else's opinion is? It is impossible to please both God and man we must make a choice. Man looks at the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart. Align your heart with his. Let go of impression management, which focuses on an outward appearance, and receive God's unconditional love and enjoy the freedom to be yourself before him. And the Bible verse it gives us is 1 Thessalonians 2 verse 4, which says, we are not trying to please people, but God who tests our hearts. And for me, that's really, like I said, that's a really hard concept for me to think about. And um, it's just a really good reminder that, you know, you're going to have people who judge you. You're going to have people who think you're not good enough, that you're not pretty enough, or you're not smart enough, or, you know, you're not the best parent, or you're not the best, you know, husband, wife, whatever. Um, it's not for them to decide. It's... Thank you, Fran. It's not for them to decide. This is something that's between you and God. And God gets to decide how amazing you are and how much he loves you. And he is going to be the one who is pleased with you and what you do. As long as you are happy and you are doing the right things that you feel are right, it doesn't matter what kind of naysayers you have. You just have to continue on and to continue doing the right thing and feeling good about yourself and helping others to feel good about themselves. And if that means you lose friends in the process, you lose a couple friends. If you, you know, hurt somebody's feelings by being honest, maybe they just needed to hear it. You know, you don't have to be brutal with people, but you can still tell them the truth, you know. So just try and remember, you know, when you're talking to people, when you're dealing with people, and when you're dealing with yourself, you know, it, it's not for other people to decide who you are. It's not for other people to decide if you're good enough. It's not for other people to decide if you're a good person. That's between you and God and God alone. So if you're a good person and you feel in your heart of hearts you're doing the right thing, then you're doing the right thing. God's already accepted you. You're already a child of his and he already loves you unconditionally. I promise you we all make mistakes and he will still continue to forgive us to this day. So Thanks, Fran. I love you. You're awesome. But if this helps you at all, feel free to share this video with um, anybody who might be struggling with being a people pleaser or just not feeling good about themselves because they let others in too much into their head. Um, feel free to share the video. Feel free to comment, tag people. Um, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say.